Right. I want to do an update video on the plug-in hybrid system which is in the car. Um, the last one that I had installed failed. So I've been busy uh, doing a better setup. So this time instead of the engineer kit which could only supply approximately 15 amps, um, I've gone down the plug-in supply route and under the carpet we have um, 76 lithium ion phosphate cells installed in series um, have the charger bolted up into the uh, the well there down below we have the contactor box and a cooling fan which exhausts through the standard um, vent in the rear quarter panel and then on this side we've got the battery management computer the blue box the rear controller for the plug-in supply system is here and here we have a couple of 12 volt mains um, transformers which are used to power the rear controller and the cooling fans when the car is being charged so if we come around to the front inside we've got First of all, let's go over here. We've got the the front controller for the car, which is the uh, the board which connects to the OBD2 port, and the uh, ice kill button which will force the car into EV mode. Then over here we have the battery management computer screen showing the current voltage of the add-on pack. The current underneath that is the amp hours that have been used from uh, since the last recharge. Above the percentage is the amount of power which is being drawn from the system right now, and then the percentage of the uh, percentage remaining of the pack. It's approximately a 10 kilowatt hour pack, although I've found through use that I'm actually getting around about 12 kilowatt hours of usable power from the batteries. And below that's just the scan gauge, so I can keep an eye on the um, normal vehicle operations. We'll go for a drive now and give you a demo of the system in operation. All right, so to start off to drive in electric mode, just turn on as per normal. Push the EV mode button to force the car, the normal EV button. Then the ice kill button for um, into electric mode where it will not use any petrol at all. And then we can drive off solely in um, electric mode. So when we get going, up here a bit further and we pick up a bit of speed on the road you'll see that we're able to do uh, 70 kilometers an hour without using any um, petrol at all and you'll be able to see that from the power flow on the main screen here that the, uh, the engine is not running it's just running solely on battery power battery power alongside the engine so that we can um, we can run in um, like now we can run in electric mode only depending on throttle load even though the, the motor is there to supply um, extra acceleration when required so um, we'll get a better idea after we come up around this roundabout because we can't really go that quick here <coughs> As we come around here and I accelerate, the motor will come on to provide acceleration. But then once we get to a speed, which I'm not going to be able to because of this car in front's going too slow, we can then continue driving on electric only without the motor running. Um, so 
essentially it's it's behaving now like a regular Toyota hybrid but with a bigger battery um, and in this mode I'm able to get approximately uh, two and a half litres per 100 kilometres for the first probably 160 170 kilometres of any journey uh, after which 